Good morning. Today's not gonna be a bike trail. Today I'm just gonna go for a nice ride. It's gonna be to Borderland State Park. It's about five miles from my house, so I won't need to do that hookup today. Good thing. So that should take me about 15, 20 minutes to get there. I'll drive around the state park, a ride around the state park, and uh, I'll come home. See you then, or I'll see you, at, well, whatever. <laughs> ah, this selfie stick, I gotta get a GoPro. Yesterday is when I did Milford, and I decided not to charge my bike. I really think I can make it there and back. It's about a 13 mile round trip. Leaving the hood and heading for the road. Now when I'm riding on the road, I usually hover between two and three. There's a lot of hills and I also want to have the ability to take off when I need to. And right now, three on this hill with a six is probably not the best way to approach it, but I'm riding one-handed, no GoPro yet. No, this is not a bike trail, it's an actual street. And I probably should have charged my bike. With three clicks at 13 miles, and I know there's some hills, it might be an issue. We shall see. Now air pressures, Rad Rover recommends 20 pounds. I've watched other YouTube videos where they said do 15 pounds. I don't know who's who as far as correct goes. So I kind of met them halfway and did 18 and a half. I know 17 and a half is middle, but I'm carrying a few extra pounds. So maybe 18 and a half. So far that seems to be the sweet spot. Ooh, car. Didn't see many of those. Hey, that was my daughter with her boyfriend. It is a nice street that leads to Borderline. It's very quiet, very few cars. I guess I'm not counting my daughter. <laughs> okay, we're approaching Borderline State Park. I've been here a million times, even before I got my bike. I love it here, but it's not really, you know, it isn't really a, a, a train rail type of setting, but it's pretty, it's got a lake. I think around the whole lake, it's a couple of miles, so it's not really long. Plus it only takes me about 15 minutes to pedal here. The only thing I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna do is film going down the initial entrance. Screw that. <laughs> If I use any power, it really drops down to two, and if it goes down to one, you're really not getting much. So I gotta be very conservative of my power for this ride. Oh man. But yeah, that hill is something else, and I don't think I wanna record it because I can't do it with one hand. There's no way. Plenty of parking here, but there is a fee if you bring a car. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's five bucks, maybe more. But it's a very pretty park. We got the castle down right there. If you can see it on the way around, I'll show it to you if there's any juice left in my bike. Here we go. I'm gonna try to do it.
will do this again when I have my GoPro. But one hand, it just doesn't work well. Oof. Yeah, I wasn't going to go down the hill with one hand. But yeah, there's a the little whatever that is. So this time I will go check out the inside. It's been years since I went in there. Nice fireplace. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I've been in here. Maybe 10 years. I was drive by it. Walk by it. There's a little lake to hang out. Another path down there. But we'll be heading my my old way. Is part of the trail. I mean, it's it's beautiful. It's picturesque. Not as long. And I'm right up the street, so I do it all the time. That's why I'm looking forward to checking out other trails. Oh, I guess it rained here yesterday. Um, it is Sunday, so there's going to be a lot of people today. Definitely hilly here, can get rocky at times. And there's parts that if I'm not gunning it, I'm not making it up. And sometimes, even if I gun it, I don't make it up. So I might be pulling it a few, pushing it a few times. doing it with one hand. Well, maybe. All right. I can do this. I guess that wasn't too bad. Did I mention I should get a GoPro? <laughs> I mean, the, the iPhone 11 Pro st stabilization is amazing. I just need something that'll hold it <laughs> so I don't have to ride one-handed. Hi guys. Real beautiful trail. A little rocky. I'm just keeping it down to two because I do need a root boost on some of these hills. And I got it to gear five. 
which is perfect, but I might have to go down a little bit more. This spot here has become one of my favorite places to hang out. So I got a bench at the very end overlooking the water. It's really nice, quiet. It's kind of like on your own. Oh, I'm trying to do a lightning assist. Not fun. Whew, did it though. A few weeks ago, I couldn't have done that. Oh. All right, <laughs> this is not fun with one hand. There's the lake over there. Wooded area. All right, so if I go left, I can bail. Or if I go right, I'll get to where that castle is, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, it's not like Milford. It's shorter and much bumpier, but very beautiful. Different sceneries to see along the way. There is some water. That mission is bumpy oh, and hilly. That's why I probably took a chance not fully charging this, or at least giving it a little bit of juice. I still got three bars or clicks left, but it's gonna be an issue getting home because there's some massive hills along the way that I don't know if I can make it. We'll see. There's this really cool farm looking area up ahead that I really like. I'll show you guys that when I get there. I mean, they definitely have benches. The earlier part of the route, they had benches too. We can sit and hang out. When you enter Borderland, there is bathrooms. I don't know during COVID if they're open or not. But this this trail here is completely old. Of course, but <laughs> this trail is completely empty during the week. That's when I usually do it because I'm about a 15 minute bike ride from, from here. You see, it's kind of cool. Pretty open. I'll show you guys the, the castle. I guess the heirs lived here. I don't know. You can Google the information. And they lost all their money and or something, and they donated everything to the state. So that's... I think Borderland State Park opened in the 70s. But it's definitely well taken care of, well maintained. Damn. I thought that kid was gonna come right at me. Ruin my headlight or a rock rose bag or something. Some are for bikes, but most of them 
I'm not really designed for that. I know one thing, I'm not designed for that, so I'm not doing those. This type of trail is more my speed. I mean, this part here doesn't look that much different than where it was yesterday in Milford. Except it's right up the street and I don't have to get scared shitless of that rack. Am I going to lose my bike or not? But I, I'm getting more confident with that. I think I figured out the right way to hook it up. A oh, little hill here. And I don't want to use up my juice on this. We'll see what happens. How you doing? Alright, this is definitely going to be my last ride until I find a better solution for filming. It's one-handed businesses. I'm going slower. I'm, I'm not as balanced. I'm getting old, so... Anyways, enough said about that. i got to find a solution this week. for out there GoPro a <laughs> couple more days <laughs> then I can ride two handed a little bumpy <laughs> ooh never tried this trail before uh, let's see I'm not looking forward to this one but we'll find out let's see what's over here if I can even do it one handed Oh, actually, I think I've been here before. That's behind that big house. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Let me get there first. Okay. Almost fell again, but here we are. Uh, so again, uh, here has a lot of uh, frisbee golf. There's that big house. I forgot to mention, uh, Borderland is really famous for uh, Frisbee golf. There's a lot of Frisbee golf here. Oh shit, not in the hell. Oh, let's, do that. let's do five. There's no the way I'm making that anyway. Yeah, I can't do this with one hand. You can, if you go this road, you'll exit where you came. If you go around this way where the pretty castle is and behind it is where kids go sledding in the winter i'm just gonna exit that way it's quicker So, that's the quick version of Borderline State Park. Somewhere down the road I might do a longer run, but I don't trust my juice and there's some hills that I know 
I'll struggle to make it if I don't have any battery left. So I should be fine getting home. I didn't use up that much. I didn't do a really long ride. There are other paths you can take at Borderland. There are some for the off-roaders, which I'm not one of them. <laughs> I just like the simple trails. Uh, there's some more frisbee people. But uh, away I go. I'm gonna be leaving by the main entrance. Here we go. This place does have bathrooms. Oh, it's got a lot of drawings out here. I'm not stopping to find out why. Maybe another day. Oh, maybe 100th anniversary. Who knows? All right, back to the main entrance and homeward bound. Hope you'd enjoyed Borderland. So that was Borderland State Park. It's pretty close to my house, so I come here quite a bit. You definitely want to bring your own food and water. There's no place to really buy anything to eat. But they do have bathrooms. Um, they do have park benches. I believe parking is $5. I may be wrong, but there is a fee for parking. They do have Frisbee Golf. It's very well maintained. It's absolutely one of my favorite places, but not if you're looking to do a very long ride. But you could still take a little while to go around the whole park and there are off-roading type places you can go not for me but for others you guys have a great day thanks for watching on the way back i'm gonna give you a sneak peek of king philip's rock it's really not my type of biking trail I've gone there a whole bunch of times, more of a hiking trail, but people do ride their bikes in it. Uh, I might go in a little bit and see if it's doable because I haven't been there in a couple years. Um, it, it is interesting to see and is, what I loved about it is uh, no one's ever there. They only have space for two cars to park. It's very little known. but. Uh, my kids like to go on their own now a lot and they say they do run across a lot of people now where in the past there was no one there so uh, the entrance way is a nice little trail and then if you take a right further down it takes you to the rocks but then there's usually fallen trees and other debris that makes it hard to get to but i'll show you a sneak peek when i get there so over here on the right, and you'll see what I mean by parking, there's like no, uh, my daughter's still there. Interesting. Oh, but that's King Phillips. And I'll go in a little bit if I can one handed, but I don't want to go too far. I'll give you a little sneak peek of this. This is King Phillips. I love this for hiking. And I guess you could take the bike. I have taken my non-e-bike here once or twice. Ah, oh, this is... Yeah, I can't do it one-handed. Yeah, that's a sneak peek of King Phillips. Maybe you, you guys can let me know if I should check it out with my bike. We'll see. But on my way home now. Almost home. I'll tell you, last night, uh, after doing 28 and a half miles, yeah, 0.52 it counts, and uh, I went to a little gathering, you know, socially distancing and all that, and uh, tried hookah for the first time, smoked, my, smoked some really good cigars, 
and obviously drinking some IPAs. Woke up with a monster headache, and let me tell you, I thought coffee would be a cure. Nah, this bike ride, I cleared my head. I feel so much better, and I don't have a headache anymore. Okay, we arrived, and you know what? We still had a couple of clicks left. At times, it went down to one. And today's mileage, if I can see my watch, where is it? says 11.37 miles.